morning everyone it's Vicky um, I apologize for saying morning if you guys are watching later on in the day Um, so my intention today is to do a Halloween card Um, so I have already die cut the words trick or treat out of these Quinn's capital ABCs from Lone Fawn I absolutely love this one I think it's just really really cute so I've cut that out of purple orange and green from this crafters companion textured cardstock it's an eight by eight pad the colors in it are gorgeous like i absolutely love them lovely and bright they do do it in a pastels as well but i needed the brights for something else so i got the brights and i love the brights so i do have um a dl card blank it actually opens that way up so what I've done is I have cut a piece of that side, A4 black cardstock down to, I think I did about 10 and a half centimetres. And the width is actually pretty much right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my background first and then I'm going to attach it to my card blank and then just trim off any excess before I do my main um sticking down of my um trick or treat um my plan is um I thought about it a little while ago and then I saw um hook line and inker I actually did a similar background um on black just using clear embossing powder um so my plan is to use the little if I can get him to come up little digi tiny bat which is from the um, Best Witches stamp set. And then I'm also going to, because I'm writing Trick or Treat, use some of the sweets from the Boo Crew. These are both my favorite things, stamp sets. So I'm gonna do the bat first. Um, I am gonna be heat embossing this. So I have remembered today that I need to use my little anti-static bag. I'm only gonna put a couple of bats on um the rest i'm gonna try and keep my fingers off what i'm doing here now i'm going to kind of do it in stages with the embossing which i'm hoping is going to work just so i can try and do it bit by bit so i'm not covering everything to take off some of that excess so i've just quickly ordered him onto my stamping block and i have my clear embossing powder again sorry my clear embossing ink just my watermark ink so i'm going to just pop that there i'm just going to keep inking him up and then stamping him out so i'm just going to put him a couple of little guys here and there on my cardstock and he is stamping you can can't really see him so this is not going to be very exciting for you to look at him for it um, but I promise it'll kind of make sense when I'm done. Get another one at the top, maybe another one down here. So I'll pop that to the side for a second. I'm going to get my trusty piece of copier paper just to do my embossing ink over because I don't want to cover my desk too much in ink. And then I'm just going to tilt this in the light. I don't know if you can see it, but I can kind of see where I've done my little bats. And it's a good thing this is a huge tub of embossing powder. <laughs> in order to try and actually get it, I'm having to coat quite a bit of my cardstock. And as I feared, where my fingerprints are, I've left some points. So I'm just going to move this out of the way back into the tub. Oh, all I can see is that embossing powder flying all over my desk, but never mind. So I'm just gonna quickly take my paintbrush again, just to get the excess off, because the whole point is I just want these to be kind of stuck up in the air. So bear with me while I do this. Um, kind of annoyed that all that work with the anti-static bag hasn't really done the trick because of my stupid fingerprints so i think i will be holding this with 
my tweezers for the rest of them. Right, that's the best I'm going to get that, I think. So, heat gun time and tweezer time. Because I am not having this happen again on the next course. So I think everything's just going to be tweezered. So if I get my heat gun, I'll just get that heated up. Should be hot enough. I'll just take it one at a time with these. you guys can see I can see if I can get this in the right light for you so it's just added that little glossiness to them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take a wipe and clean off my little bat stamp to put him out of my way because I don't want to leave him covered in gunk and I'm just going to pop him out of my way for now while I clean that down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually load these in a little group so just I think for ease so I'm going to take the little lollipop which I really like and load that onto there I'm going to take I think I'm going to pop the little spider on as well because I do like the spider the spider I'll take one of those sweeties and the long sweep and um, yeah that'll do me for those i think so if you can see there i've just loaded those onto there if you can see liquid in the background that's just from my wipe i will quickly clean dry that off a bit just so it's not wet to start with lovely and then because my fingerprints got on it. I'm going to have to quickly re anti static. Is re anti static a word, anybody? If anyone can advise me on that, that'd be greatly appreciated because I haven't got a clue. I'm going to hold that like that because evidently my fingerprints are a little bit counterproductive for what I want to do. Uh, that needs to go back into there. Move that out of the way. So then again, it's just a case of if I can grab that by the edges. And hopefully, it's not going to make a mess on there. Get my ink back out. Just stamp these little guys up. And if I do a set there, try and keep my fingers out of this as much as possible now. And set there. Do some down here. I'm just trying to rotate this slightly as I go as well because I don't want them all the same way up. I'll take away from some of the randomness of the effect. And I'll do down there. Uh, maybe another little bunch in the middle. Um, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. I think once I've done the embossing, I'll be able to see, see slightly better how that looks. So, paper back down again. Embossing powder out. And then let's give this a little go and see where I have actually got my little pictures. I'm so glad I bought this huge pack of embossing powder. I'm hoping this will make it a lot easier for us to get the effects that I want. If I tip that over and give it a bit of a flick. I don't know why it seems to not like to come off this cardstock. I think it's uh, I think it's the cardstock more than my hands, maybe, because I did keep my fingers off that one. But we'll get that embossing powder back in there. Let's move that to one side. We'll get that popped away. Give that a wipe down once I've heated all of this. I'm just going to use my 
tweezers again just because it gets really hot on my fingers and I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie. So keep going back to full heat again. I'm just gonna quickly while that's heating try and get some of those little bits off because they're gonna annoy me. As you can see, now I've got little shapes as well. I think I'd probably normally like it a little bit more covered, but I do quite like that it's not overly done. So I've ended up with the bats upside down again. So that's actually which way up it should probably go. The word treat's going to be down in this bottom corner, so I'm not so bothered that there's a few gaps there. So I'm just going to really quickly move that out of the way. And try and clean some of this embossing powder off of here. I'll clean the rest of my stamps up in a little bit. We'll be okay for now. Um, and just get this nicely dried off. So I can put that down. Okay. So, like I say, I'm going to stick it to my card base and then I'm going to put the trick or treat on it. Um, I want the bats the right way up. So that way up. And I think, just in case there is trimming to do, yeah, I like this edge better. So I'm actually going to do, totally counterintuitively, I'm going to stick it to this side. Normally you'd stick it against there, but I think I prefer that side. So we're kind of going to wing it, I'm not going to lie. Let's have a little stick with this. I can get onto here. As I say, you've probably heard me say a bazillion times, I'm a big fan of plenty of glue because I don't want it to fail in the post. Please, and if you bear with me, this is probably not going to be the best shot ever because I'm trying to get this lined up. But I think it's important to make sure you're lined up more than the good shot at this precise moment in time. That corner lined up. Right, that's pretty straight. And that's pretty flat, or it should be once I've flattened it out. Let's see. So that actually is just the right width on there, so it's just a case of trimming this bit really. So if I get my trusty craft knife and my Lay it out, this ruler out. I just kind of line it up against it and then use the line to go down. And that should pull off nicely. And yeah, that edge there needs a little bit of TLC, so I'll just quickly do that one as well. Bear with me a second such a lovely nice fine little piece I love it when it makes those little hair size pieces so that's that on there now I was intending originally to try and line up the trick or treat really carefully on it into a really perfect straight line but I think with the nature of the card that it is, I think it'll kind of lend itself more to being a little bit haphazard. I think trick or treat is something that I consider a haphazard phrase. So I'm just going to use my quickie glue pen for these because it is so fine. So bear with me, I'm going to put some glue onto these. I'm going to use my tweezers to help me get them into place as well. So, T for trick. 
I did actually, I will show you <laughs> how I worked out how to do my trick or treat. I did take a piece of paper and wrote down purple, orange and green and then spelt trick or treat going like that just so I could work out which colour I needed to do which letters because if I'd just tried to memorise it, it would have gone terrible. I knew fine well it would. So I thought the best option is to try and do it the other way. So if you leave it with me two seconds, I'm just going to quickly do this. Actually, I don't think you guys want to watch me do this. I'm going to quickly pause it and I'll be back once I've finished sticking them down. Two minutes. Hello. So I've stuck all those down using my glue and I think you'll agree it looks nice. But I decided once I'd done that, it looked like it was missing something. So I took the little Dracula from my favourite things and I stamped him and coloured him and I dyed for him using the corresponding dye and that is him done there. I figured while I had you on pause I might do that just to save a little bit of time for you guys. So I've popped some foam pads on the back of him and I'm just gonna, if I can get my nails in, I give in today with nails evidently and then if I just peel those off. I just felt like it needed a little something extra up in the corner. So I'm going to pop him. Yeah, I'm going to pop him there. And then that is my finished little card. Hope you guys like it. Take care. Bye.